All right, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Young Twan. I'm back at it with another video. Uh, today, as you can see from the title, I will be showing y'all how to make uh, beats like Oh Boy. This is my third video uh, on kind of like the Oh Boy style. Um, in this video, I'll be focusing a lot more on the drum uh, aspect uh, of Oh Boy's beats. Uh, I'll also be showing y'all how I made this 808. A lot of people have been asking me how I created this 808. It's very simple. I'll be showing y'all. And uh, yeah, so let's just get straight to it. So I started the beat. Uh, I picked this sample by Cook Up. Shout out Cook Up because he's a very, very uh, fire sample maker. Uh, and this is what the sample sounds like. super fire so um i started off uh the sample was at 117 bpm i uh turned it up to 122 just because i kind of wanted it to be fast so uh already you know this is a, a a good sample you know it has an a section a b section uh with the flute you know it's perfect it's a literally the perfect uh sample it also really fits the the oh boy kind of vibe pretty well so uh what i started with um I started with the drums. I started with uh, the clap. So let me just. Um... So yeah, very simple. Then I added the hats. And then I added a snare as well and a uh, different percussion. Finally, I added also uh, open hats. So as you can see, just with those, how many does two, four, six, seven, seven uh, percussive elements, I already have like quite a, quite a, 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 a cool little bounce right here. Um, so let me show y'all what, uh, not the science, but you know, what kind of makes the bounce. So the bounce, uh, a lot of the bounce in your beats will come from how like the 808s and the kicks and the hats play together, you know, and you can add like little different percussion here and there uh, to add to the bounce. But the main bounce, what I, I feel like the main bounce is like between your hats and your kicks, how they blend together. You know, you don't want them to be so busy that it becomes too complex and too complicated and you're doing too much. But you don't, I mean, you can have it uh, play very simple, but uh, you know, when you want like some more sauce, some, you know, more bounce, um, you, there's like a thin line, I believe, with like complexity and uh, like over complex and over simple. And I really feel like oh boy really taps in like right, it's like he's right in the middle where it's not too complex, but not definitely not too simple. So as you can see here, the hats, I have very few rolls, but all the rolls are before the claps. So it's kind of like as if, I mean, before the first and the third claps. Uh, so it's kind of like as if it's like uh, the hats are kind of like build up to the clap, you know, like, you know what I mean? And then after every um, first and third clap, there's a pause. You know what I mean? And then it picks back up with an open hat and the hats, the high hats. So um, this little space is really, really uh, good and really adds to the bounce because it adds a little sus uh, a, a little suspense and a little um, variation and a little, uh, whatchamacallit, tension. It adds a little bit of tension because you hear, you have all these drums coming in. You know what I mean? And then it, it stops. So the listener's like, oh, what's going on? And then it comes back with an open hat, a, a, a perk that hits right here, and then another, a different type of open hat. You know what I mean? So it, it definitely um, adds to the bounce. And then here I have another, uh, another roll, and this time the same hat. 
from the same open half from before, but no uh, percussion hitting right before the clap. So it goes like this. But again, I keep that. I have that same pause. So not only is this good for the listener because it adds tension, but it's also good for the artist because I feel like this is a, a, a good spot where since there's no uh, percussive elements or even no drums, um, this is somewhere the artist could add like an ad lib or he could just, you know, do something different to it. Um, and, uh, you know, it would complement his flow pretty well. So, yeah. So now uh, I'm going to show you all the uh, 808. This is the 808 pattern. So, you know, pretty simple 808 pattern. And then in the second part of the hook, I brought a kick and I changed a tiny bit the, the 808 pattern, but I'll talk about that more later. So yeah, so pretty much, first of all, let me show y'all how uh, this 808 is made because I've been getting a lot of um, a lot of people just DMing me like, yo, how you make this? How do you make uh, this 808 and stuff? It's the 808 No Kizzy is pretty famous in like my videos. It sounds like this pretty much. So how do I exactly I make it? So here you have just a normal spins, all right? This is just a, a normal spins, the most basic 808 you can ever get. You can get this in pretty much every kit and it sounds like this. You know what I mean? Very, very simple. So what you do is you're gonna go right here. This is the same thing. And you're gonna go in these uh, pre-computed effects and you're gonna click right on this button right here, the effects target, is it called? Okay, whatever. You're gonna click on this little button and here you're gonna have a different uh, kind of panel. And you're gonna go on the boost knob and what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna pull the boost knob up to about right here. I feel like right here is like, um, you know, it's pretty good. And then you're gonna go back here, you're gonna click on this uh, wrench tool kind of thing, and you're gonna uh, turn the out knob up. So you're gonna turn it like around here. And now you go from this to this. Now it doesn't make, it doesn't sound like it's so much different but when you play it it sounds like this instead of this Wait, hold up. you can even shorten it uh more some more if you feel like you know it's too long and uh, that's pretty much the secret, you know? And also make sure, this is an absolute must, make sure you have your velocities uh, all the way up um, because that will just uh, make it hit harder. And also uh, add a soft clipper to your master channel. Um, and yeah, so you wanna do this and then if it's too much, you see, if it saturates too much, if, it's, if it clips too much, you're gonna wanna take down the boost knob uh, until, uh, until you like it pretty much, until it, it fits uh, your liking. So uh, yeah, this is the, the 808 uh, No Kizzy sauce. So yeah, now what I also did uh, with this, uh, I went in here and I went in this uh, uh, envelope um, section and I turned down all of these uh, ADSR settings, whatever it's called, and I turned up the um, hold all the way up. So now I have full control of how long the 808 plays. Listen, if you listen, I just click and it stops immediately as I, but if I stay, you know what I mean? So now when I go back, as you can see here, the 808 only plays for how long it actually is. You see right here, it stops right after, otherwise it would carry on. And so uh, I use this to my advantage when I added the kicks, because if you hear them together, I, I put the kick, the kick hits right after at the end of the, the 808. 
on on this uh, 808 and on this note as well so that just really added to the bounce you know like if you listen you know what i mean It just it just added that um little bounce so yeah pretty much that's it you know now for the arrangement i have the intro with the flute and then uh the first part of the hook without the flute the second part of the hook with the flute and a different kick i mean the kick comes in in a different 808 pattern so this is the hook verse bridge hook outro this is pretty much the arrangement and in the verse i took out the hi-hats uh for the first two bars uh just to distinguish to be able to easily distinguish between um the the hook and the verse i took out the kick the open ha uh, one of the open hats and uh, one of the rims and put the other 808 pattern And I bring back the rim, the other open hat. And then right here in the bridge. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You know, it's very simple. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave in the comment down um, which type of tutorial you'd want to see next, what you want to see me do next. And uh, I'll hook you up. I'll make sure, you know, to, to, to look into what you suggested. Um, so yeah. That's it for me. Uh, peace out and I'll see you in the next video.